Hi friends! Welcome back! Um, I always say that like you guys were just here last week and that's never the case. I am so freaking sorry. I am so MIA right now. So hard at work at school, hanging out in the studios, you know? Well, now I'm back and I wanted to show you guys how I updated my everyday makeup look. So I've had a really hard time recording this today because I don't have studio lights and consistent lighting so I've been relying on the sun but it changes every five seconds because the clouds are just here to play today here to play today so please bear with me I hope you can see the techniques I use as opposed to the colors which you can kind of see right now but not really uh, by the way I'm not a makeup guru or anything so I'm just sharing with you how I do my makeup and if you have any tips for me, please share them with me below. The main purpose of this video is actually to share with you my new purchases from bhcosmetics.com. I got this 14 piece brush set for $14 and it has so many babies that I do not know what they're actually for. And if you watch this video um, during my little tutorial thing on a jig, you'll see me discover or um, how do you say explore or experiment with the brushes i don't even know if i use them properly but i'm gonna find out um, this was only 14 dollars, and then i splurged a little bit more for these two babies let me see they're in focus they are in focus um these two babies for nine dollars each they had a crazy sale and I went crazy. Um, by the way, I'm speaking in USD. Um, just letting you know. So I got these colorful ones to experiment with eventually one day. Maybe if I get proper lighting, we can experiment together. And then this one I got also because I want to practice my everyday matte, natural look, you know? But today I didn't use these, I used the ones that I showed you from my last update video. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. It's not much, but it's something. I will have some other videos coming up soon to update you on my Camp Gritty in Tennessee and LA trips. But that'll be soon. And then I hope to document some studio stuff soon as well to show you what I really do for a living. Or what I hope to be doing for a living. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is the final look, you know. Okay, enjoy. So to start it all off, I moisturize my face because it makes the makeup go on so much easier for me. That's how I prime my face. And then I use Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade of medium dark because that's what my skin color is at right now. And I took the number two brush from the BH Cosmetics brush set that I just got and used that to spread the foundation as evenly as possible across my face. I usually use my hands for this, but the brush makes it a lot nicer and it feels nice too. For my eyebrows, I'm still using that pen that I get from Daiso for five ringgit. It's obviously a Japanese brand and it comes in a purpley pinkish package. I use that to just fill in my eyebrows. And at this point, it really doesn't matter how messy it is and I'll show you why in a bit. It's because I take the Smashbox High Definition Concealer in the shade of medium dark, just a little bit as I'm telling you on the screen right now, um, and use this angled brush which I failed to show you because my camera doesn't autofocus and line the bottom side of my eyebrows to give it some high definition and with the same concealer I took this flat brush and I covered all my dark spots and blemishes And with a beauty blender that I got from Sephora, I lightly or maybe not so blended it into the rest of my foundation. And then I took brush number three to put on some setting powder that I use from MAC. It's the MAC Prep and Prime. 
And with this eyeshadow brush that I got from Sephora 100 years ago and my NYX palette, I take this nudish pink color and apply that as a base on my eyelids. And I don't know what I'm doing right here, but I'm obviously having a lot of fun. Just packing that color on. With the same brush, I take the shimmery gold color and I line my crease with it. I just pack it on without blending yet because the blending will come a little bit later with this brush. It's a rounded eyeshadow brush which is even softer than the one before. With the number 8 brush, I paired it up with the Fix Plus spray by MAC. Um, this is a technique I learned from Mina Rosli. And then I dabbed it onto this nice light color. It's actually part of the highlight set in the NYX palette. And I put it all over my eyelids. It looks really uneven right now, but that's why we use this brush and we blend it in. With the same brush that we use for the nude pink, I take this dark brown color. Well, I'm trying to show you which one it is. Okay, we get it. Um, and I put it in the corners of my eye to give my eyelids a little bit more definition. And with the same soft brush that we use to blend everything, we blend this one also. With another angled brush, I use the same brown color to line my lower lash line just on the skin just to give a little bit more definition in my already round eyeballs. I'm still using Maybelline's New York Eye Studio Eyeliner. Maybe it's Maybelline. And I am applying a winged eyeliner. I took a while to do this, but I've been getting better at it. And look, I'm not even stretching my skin. Wow! And if I want to go a little bit darker, I use the same blending brush and apply more dark brown in the outer corners of my eyelids. Just to give it a little bit more grunge. Over here, I'm taking the lightest color off the highlight collection on this NYX palette and putting it underneath my eyebrows or on the brow bone, brow bone, brow bone, to give it a little highlight. And here comes the torture machine. I curl my eyelashes as we would always do. And I use their real mascara by Benefit to pack on those lashes, man. I think this is my favorite mascara. Whoa, eyeballs. And this was also a gift from Mina Rosli. It is Hula by Benefit. And I used a number five brush from the collection to contour my face. I don't usually do it in the foundation process because I do not know how to. So I leave this bit to the very last bit of my makeup routine. Wow, look at that, wow. And from this Carly Bible palette that I also got from BH Cosmetics, I used the second lightest color with the brush number four to highlight my cheekbones. I think this is like my favorite part of putting makeup on. And then I go back and I use brush number three to blend it all in. I really like the feel of the brush on my face. It feels really good. And I used the lip liner by Urban Decay, which was also a gift from Mina Rosli, that I also broke the tip off by taking the cap off too roughly, because ah, oh, Tasha, Tasha. Anyways, I oh okay, bye Tash, see you later. I obviously put it on off screen, and then I move on to the final step, which is to apply lipstick. I'm using a gift from my friend named Isaac. And he gave me Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Androgyny. And what do I do? Get it all over my teeth, of course. And so this is the final look. This is how I wear my face to school whenever I'm not feeling lazy. 
and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oh, look at me just showing off that highlight. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, then please comment below with some of your tips, and I really hope to speak to you guys soon. Bye!